Okay, how's this sound? Oh, okay. So what we're going to do today, I've just been reading a manual and uh, we're going to try and get this uh, hot water uh, heater working. So anyway, first thing I have to do is I, uh, we used this the other day and uh, it was um, entertaining to say the least and very invigorating. So anyway, I need two D-cell batteries and they go in the bottom of this unit because I guess they create the spark for the ignition of the uh, gas that I'm going to have to hook up. So anyway, where do we go down here? And put them in. Oh, okay, what do we got here? What do we got? Okay, there we are. Uh, God, it doesn't say which, uh, positive, negative. Well, there's one of each. No, oh, we got to get right down here. Well, it doesn't look like it matters which way they go. That's the one. That's the other one. Yeah, she's lit up. So anyway, now I got all the connections in here. Okay, hook up the water. And what I've done is I've made uh, quick release uh, connections on these and hopefully they are not gonna leak. And gas. And what you use for these, I guess you can use uh, uh, larger tanks, but I'm just using these little uh, green uh, canisters for this. Now, oh, there doesn't seem to be a pressure. Uh, yeah, as soon as I put that in there, that's going to want to flow. So I'm going to put this end in first. I'll just hand tighten this and then I'll check to see if there's any uh, gas leaking. And oh, there's the first problem right there. I can't hook it up because this canister is made, or this connector, connection is made for a large tank. Okay. <laughs> anyway, I'm looking for stuff. So here we go again. Now, when I tried to uh, hook this shower up, I was uh, my intention was to use one of these green tanks. But as you can see, the connection that goes to the tank is for the 20 pounders. And this is the one pound. So what I've done, is I went to Home Depot and I got a uh, one pound adapter to the 20 pounds. So anyway, I'll bust this open Attach it, and we will see what is going to happen. Uh, I'm not sure because this is going through the regulator. Uh, if it's if there's going to be enough pressure, I, it's hard to say. But I've got a full tank. The green uh, one pounder is full, and uh, all we can do is uh, hook it up because there's safeties uh, built into these things that if there's not enough gas, it'll just shut everything off. So uh, it, it's not like uh, I don't imagine that I'm going to create a problem for myself. So anyway, I'm not sure exactly how. The, what should go on first here, but I'll give this a try. I'm not sure if this should be put on the tank first and then this onto the uh, regulator. See if it's, uh, no, it's, it's not leaking.
as you can see, there's something wrong with this thing. Yep, 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 yep. It's a pooched. So, I guess, uh, yeah, I've done everything right there now. Uh, obviously, uh, whatever happened the first time is continuing to happen because uh, I did the, uh, the test on that joint and uh, I wasn't sure if it was from there or somewhere up higher. Um, but as it stands now, it's still doing the same thing. When it ignites, it's almost like it's blowing itself out. I don't know where the gas is uh, coming from, but anyway, um, yeah, it, it, there, there's something going on here, and uh, I don't know what it is. So it's beyond my expertise. I guess I'll have to get a hold of uh, Gasland, make a complaint to them because uh, this is the uh, this is the first time that I have uh, tried to ignite this. Well, other than <laughs> the first time it uh, did this to me, uh, yeah, I haven't used this product before and I'm probably going to have a problem because it's a year and a half old and it's never been used because of COVID and Canadian winters and all that. Who the hell is going to have a winter 30 below zero, so or a shower 30 below in the winter. So anyway, I will uh, have to see where this will go and uh, I will let you go so uh, and let you know uh, how it uh, turns out. So anyway. Until then, have a good one. Okay, so as you have seen from the previous footage, I've been uh, attempting to get my water heater working. I've had it for a year and a half, and uh, I'm trying to you know, get it all set up so we can use it. And so I feel like this should be an episode of, uh, should you really be doing that? <laughs> so anyway, if you look behind me, no water tank, because I had it all set up, or I thought I had it all set up to work and uh, trying to sort through it. And when it finally ignited, I had, uh, oh, I'd say the flames were probably going about this high. So anyway, I'll take you off the uh, tripod and I'll show you what I'm up to now because uh, I've actually had to tear this thing apart to see what damage that I may have done, if any, and uh, if it can be repaired. So anyway, here it is over here. As you can see, I've got it uh, somewhat dismantled. And from the underneath, you can see where the, where the flames went up and uh, all the fun I was having. Hey, I got something in the mail. Let's check it out. Okay, so as you may recall, this gas heater caught fire. And anyway, I got a hold of Gasland, and uh, they got me to send a, a sequence of pictures just to verify what I said had happened did actually occur. And then they uh, approached their uh, department uh, for replacement, and uh, it has come today. So anyway, uh, I have been given another uh, red one under warranty and uh, I really appreciate uh, their customer service. It was uh, very, very good. Uh, what can you do? Uh, it was something that happened to us that uh, was unexpected and they checked uh, the pictures that they needed to verify that the problem was a mechanical failure or a product failure and they replace it. So uh, very good for Gasland doing that okay so anyway got the new heater and we're going to install it on the door so let's have a look at what they've sent me here it's uh by the packaging at the back supposed to be the red one same as what i had before we'll open this up i got rid of the other one yesterday so uh i'm okay to set this up now 
because I needed the room. Oh, yeah, it's pretty. Okay, before I draw any blood, I'll put this away. Oop, there we go. So anyway, there's the heater. As you can see, nice shiny red one. Hardware. Yeah, these just hang by uh, four bolts, but I will have to take the handle off of it, like I did on the original one. Okay. Now, yeah, as you can see, there's a there's a handle here to hang it on stuff, which. I never use because I'm, I'm going to use, instead of the handle, I'm going to use these contact points. And, of course, I give you instructions. Okay, where are we here? These are handy for uh, van life. Just, uh, it's a husky product it's got all the uh, bits and it's nice because these ones have the long shank so it, it, it's good because you can use them in your drill also and still have you know room to uh, put the screw in and uh, not hitting anything with the uh, chuck on the drill so I uh, really like this product okay spare parts okay because I already had uh, the screw set up on this one it's simply a matter of hanging it Oh yeah, there's a screw on this one that's uh, maybe out a little bit further, so all I have to do is back off this one screw a little wee bit. There we go. Now I'll just set the two screws down here and it's installed. It's pretty simple. Uh, and then, of course, like you've seen before, I, I grab all of my uh, connections off of these contact points here. And uh, I'll show you what I got going on back here in a little bit. So this, this is my insulation so that the water doesn't freeze. Because with these vans, these doors, they're, 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 they're kind of a weak, uh, or they don't seal well. So what I do is I, I've got a winter parka. And I hang that on the shelf and tuck it in there and then what happens is the thermal mass from the water should stop anything from freezing. What I also do is these, it's hard to insulate the back of these vans. So what I've done is uh, I could have bought insulated curtains. I think they're around $1,200. It was really expensive. And so up here, the wood that holds this together, I've used these uh, furniture hardware and all I've done is put a bungee cord on it with a little uh, with a little bracket, and this is a sleeping bag. So I could use it as a sleeping bag, but what it does is it covers these windows, as you can see, and it creates a, a really good uh, thermal barrier for the cold in the winter. So what we found is it's working really well. And the other side of it is uh, we're, we're, I'm drying a, a towel on it today, so you got to use what you got. Okay, so. Anyway, uh, I'll do another video a little bit later. We'll give this a test run. Give this a test run and see if it doesn't explode on us. And uh, hopefully we'll be up and running for the shower and then it doesn't matter where we go. Uh, we're, we're set and as long as we have water, uh, we could probably stay 
What do you think, Janet? How long? Two weeks? Uh, 10 days to two weeks. Yeah, 10 days, 10 days to two weeks, depending on how dirty you get. And in the summertime, uh, a lot of times you're, uh, you have the ability maybe to uh, swim or things like that. And, uh, uh, but it, it is nice to have the warm water and we will uh, give it a test run. So stay tuned for that one. Yeah, I hear it igniting every time I uh, turn this button on. I'm just not sure if uh, I'll have to read through this again and let you know it is heating up, but I don't know if that's the way it normally cycles because I'm not familiar with this product uh, to that point. So, um, yeah, so anyway. At least this one isn't bursting in the flames, it's just a matter of me fine-tuning it for my uh, personal use. And uh, we will uh, test this further, and uh, I I'm sure it's, it's going to work, it's just a matter of, uh, you know, becoming familiar with it and uh, uh, using the, the unit the way it was meant to be, so. Anyway, no explosions, no flames, it's all good, so anyway. I'll carry on here, and uh, if there's anything we need to tell you about it, uh, we will do that, okay? <sighs> yeah, lots of fun. Yeah, you hear it fire every time. Oh, that's nice warm water. Okay, right on. I'm gonna check some videos out uh, for the uh, startup of these things and just make sure that I'm following the way everybody else is doing it. So, until then, we're good to go.